Last week, we explored the city of San Francisco on foot. Ate lots and lots of yummy food. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> and hung out with the locals. Today we're headed out to what just might be the most popular spot in the city. And perhaps the site of Sean Connery's greatest cinematic achievement. It's a tourist attraction! And then again, maybe not. Getting to the rock means a short boat ride across the 1.5 miles of water that separates the island from the mainland. If you want a seat on the boat, buy your tickets early and don't be late. Alcatraz Island has a rich and varied history, although today most people come here to see the site of the most infamous prison in American history. Oh, and if you're wondering about all the Indian references, 1969 marked the beginning of a two-year occupation by Native American activists hoping to claim the island for their own. You guys are always thinking, so many of them were thinking about how to escape this place when they got here. And uh, not very many succeeded. Alcatraz Island was home to the criminals that were considered the worst of the worst. by taking an audio tour that's actually narrated by prisoners and guards that spent time at Alcatraz. It's amazing. Their stories are truly one of a kind and shed light on what life really was like on the rock. prison was said to be inescapable. But in 1962, three prisoners did attempt a daring escape. It's a tale filled with drama and ingenuity. There were dummy heads made with real hair, tunnels dug into walls with spoons, and life jackets made out of raincoats. The official story was that Frank Morris and the England brothers drowned in the bay, but no bodies were ever found. Alcatraz prison was known for having its fair share of famous inmates. Perhaps the most famous among these was the mobster Al Capone. He was quoted as saying, Alcatraz finally has me licked. He was so tamed by the prison that he joined the prison band and learned to play the accordion. So much for his tough guy image. This is D-Block, also known as the treatment unit. Only the most violent and dangerous inmates were sent here. The time here usually included a restricted diet and 24-hour confinement to the cell. On May 4, 1946, six prisoners overtook the cell block, killing two guards and injuring 18 others. The Marines were eventually called in and grenades were dropped from the gun galley, ending the uprising. You can still see the evidence of those grenades on the cell block floor today. 
It was said that the worst part of being a prisoner at Alcatraz was the fact that the city of San Francisco was just beyond the barred walls. You could see, hear, and smell the city, and yet you were still so detached. <laughs> yeah, especially because they're only like a mile and a quarter from land. So you can hear everything, you yeah. can see the city, but you can't get to it. I couldn't imagine not not being able to see and touch and play when everything is so close right at your fingertips. So I imagine why a lot of people try to escape from Alcatraz. Um, no known actual escapes, but they never found truth. Oh, they so, totally made it out. We, we believe that they made it out. Many of the guards lived on the island with their families. Children played just outside the walls of the prison, and the families planted large elaborate gardens to make the place a little bit prettier. along our tour was the prison yard and the kitchens. While exercise time was highly limited, the quality and portions of the food the inmates were fed was not. The idea was to keep their bellies full and their bodies lazy to discourage any escape attempts by swimming across the bay. After a long day exploring the prison, it was time to hop back on the boat and go for the main Thanks for watching! If you're interested in more of our adventures, go ahead and click the subscribe button and ring that bell while you're at it. Thanks for being a part of our journey, guys! Oh, and remember last week when we promised you some awesome prison jokes? You didn't think we forgot, did you? It's time for prison puns. Enjoy these while you decide what to watch next. Two crooks, when they got out of prison, bought a hotel. That made them inmates. <laughs> Yeah. Fun fact about prison architecture, prison walls are never made to scale. Boo! You guys heard about the thief that stole the calendar? You got 12 months. Boo!